Hello and welcome to Middle Age Geek Girl. I'm Sally. Happy Easter, everybody. No matter how you celebrate, I hope you are having a fantastic Easter time and that the Easter Bunny bought you lots and lots of nice chocolate eggs. Or if you don't eat chocolate or are allergic to chocolate, whatever you can eat. Um, I hope you are having lots of good stuff for Easter. For this video, I just wanted to share me doing some practice with watercolour paints. I have mentioned uh, when I did my beginning of the year video that I wanted to practice with mediums I don't use very much. I wanted to bring them in more and I also want to uh, practice art so I get obviously better at it. I don't consider myself an artist although there is an argument to be have that if you draw something you're an artist but I want to practice that stuff and obviously get better at it. So for this video I've got two pieces I'm sharing. This first piece is just a quick design I made up on Canva and printed up. It was just like basically really just an egg shape and the words happy Easter but I thought it would be a good piece to practice colouring with watercolour. Um, I did print it on thicker than usual paper. This paper is 180 GSM which is definitely uh, thicker than your standard printer paper so it is also a slight cream colour. It's not stark white and being on a printer the ink is not bleed proof so it was a good test on how close I could get it to the actual line work without smearing the line work didn't necessarily work for all of it so the watercolor paints I'm using are Kuritake brand that I got there and the colors are just gorgeous absolutely bright and vibrant and I love all of them. I think the colors just pop. For this second piece I went a bit different and wanted to design it from scratch 
apart from the text I have of Happy Easter, which I had printed up as well on my printer but um from a piece that didn't work so that i just kept the wording the rest of the artwork i threw away for this one i definitely wanted to create the color blobs basically and draw the eggs in separately when the watercolor had dried so this is actually on watercolor paper and I used again a Kurataki palette but these are the gem palettes I can't quite remember what it's called now but I'll put the proper name up here when I do the editing but yeah while I'm recording the voiceover I have no idea what it's called but I know it's from Kurataki as well and I thought that would be really pretty colors to use now as you will see, I did get gate crashed by Luna. So you'll see that coming up very soon. So, and that was when I was trying to cut out the words for Happy Easter with a Stanley knife. And yeah, I decided that I wasn't going to cut them out beautifully flush because she was around and I did not want to cut her accidentally so I swapped back to scissors and just did like a bulk cut around the le around the words <laughs> so that it was safe so yeah uh, coming soon is going to be a lunar gate crash and once that's over I'll come back with some more talking So there you go there is your dose of Luna for this video she wanted to help but I stopped basically when she jumped up because she was trying to drink the paint water and trying to drink the wet paint on the actual paper so yeah from that point onwards I just put everything out of her reach to let it all dry and then I came back and did the drawing of the easter eggs on the color blobs I had done earlier and also glued down the words happy easter so this one was a fun piece to make as well I really enjoyed it I like the way they both turned out actually and it was really good practice for me so it's something I think I'll be sharing more on the channel and I hope you enjoyed watching it but yeah I think that's it for this video and voice over so I want to thank you all for watching if this is your first time watching my channel or if you've watched a few and haven't done so already please subscribe if everyone could hit that like button and the notification bell also it helps with the channel algorithm and since I do so many different things on my channel I need all the help I could get with the algorithm so YouTube can recommend my channel to other viewers. If you're interested in supporting the channel further, I do have a Ko-fi and a Patreon account set up and the details are up here on screen. But I think that will do it for this video. So everybody, no matter where you are, please stay safe, stay weird, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.